Hi everyone and welcome back to Art with Miss Cho. If you're new to my channel, what we do here is we make art out of the simple things we have around us. So today it's paper and pencil. If you don't have paper, maybe grab an old cereal box and draw on the back side. Whatever you have, you can make it work. So we are going to be making an echo flower. And you can make any kind of flower you want, but we're going to be doing this idea of echoing and like nature kind of vibrating and thinking about how there are sounds all around us. And so we're going to be doing an echo flower and it can be any flower you want. I'm going to be drawing a tulip because I'm seeing a lot of them around me in my yard. And so we're going to be drawing that one, but if you want to draw a different one, you can. And we're going to draw lines around it over and over. If you want to add color to it, you can. I'm probably gonna keep mine black and white because I, I just feel like this might look really nice. But it's up to you, you're the artist, how do you wanna do it? So let's go grab our supplies and get started. So for our echo flower, we're gonna start off by drawing any kind of flower you want. I'll go through how to draw a simple one. And then we're just gonna go around that shape over and over. We've done things like this before, but it's really nice to kind of calm down and relax and let your drawing do the talking. So I'm going to draw a tulip because I'm seeing them blooming all around my house. And we're going to start off by drawing the shape that's implied, which means it's not really there, but we kind of see it with our eye. We're going to draw an oval. This will be erased. And then we're going to draw two curved lines coming down and connecting at the bottom. Now we're going to make our tulip more complicated like than this, but this is how it kind of starts. So we're going to do our first petal is the one in the front. It's going to arch up to the bottom of that oval and come back down. So there's our first petal. Now our next petal, we only see part of it. And it's right here and it's kind of cupping some other petals. And it's right there and it curves. Our next one comes here and meets this one. And we have a similar thing happening here. We have a curve and it gets interrupted by this petal here. So we're seeing the inside and the outside of this petal. And then we have our petal that's in back. So there is our kind of simple tulip. Now we can come down with our stem. They are pretty straight, but they do have some curves and irregularities. And now we are gonna go up with our petal or our leaf. We're gonna do one on each side. Now we can go ahead and erase the implied oval that we said we saw. Now to make it our echo art, we're going to outline this shape pretty carefully with a line going just about a quarter of an inch around it. Take your time doing this, don't rush. Once you get it once, you're gonna do it again. Now you can change up colors or you can keep it all in pencil and then color it later or just keep it black and white. You want to try and keep your distance the same, but it's okay if it changes. Try to just relax as you do this. Right in here, we're going to curve back and go up. And you're going to do that and connect. You're going to do it again. So we're doing each one connect. So it's not just a line that continues to go on. If you can't fit in, you just go out. I don't feel like I can fit in, so I'm going to curve out and connect. And we're going to keep going all the way until our page is filled.
So here is my Echo Tulip. You can see the lines continue all the way to the edge of the page. And I actually really like how mine looks just in pencil, but you could always go ahead and only add color to your outside, maybe add color to the flower only, or maybe your color starts off really bright and then goes really slowly lighter, or maybe it starts off light and goes darker. But play with that. That's where you're the artist and you get to decide what you want yours to look like. So I hope you had fun making your echo flower. I think mine turned out really pretty. Like I said, I really do enjoy my uh, just black and white pencil drawing, but maybe I could have done like dark pencil all the way to light, like doing a value coming out. But that's up to you as the artist. So maybe you did a different type of flower. Maybe you did color in your echo. Whatever you want to do, you are the artist. So I can't wait to see what you guys made. And remember, hit like if you enjoy this video and subscribe so you get notified every time I post a new video. Bye, friends. Oh! <laughs>